My name is Dr. Iglesias, and this is Deep in Your Business. As always, I'll be your host, along with Alvaro Salim Noriega <laughs> and Mike Casanova. Hey, hey, hey. Today, I'm with my good friend, uh, William Payti, better known as Sheba Billionaire Crypto. Oof. Bro, you know what I love about this podcast that I think mm. we're going to enjoy? A lot of our podcasts, man, we've been speaking to a lot of people, life in prison, death row, drugs and alcohol, the street life. I mean, I personally don't know if he has that background, but I'm so glad to see a man that is successful. And uh, I've known him for 2004, 20 years. 20 years, that's safe? Yeah. Man, that's a long time, man. So where did you grow up, man? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna call you Galilee like a million I times know, I know you. because I met you as a rapper by the name of Galilee 316, man. Yeah, so, back yeah. in the day. So where did you grow up? Miami Dade County, born Overtown. Okay. okay. Raised in Liberty City. Nice. Yeah. Okay. See, you yeah. see, this is the crazy thing, man. We're ministers and we're constantly ministering together. But we never really sit down, fellowship, and really get to know one another, man. So today I'm excited because I'm going to get to know what's behind the scenes, you know, mm. the man of took, God. It took 20 years. 20 years, man. <laughs> but wait a second. What do, you mean <laughs> yeah. that, sorry, sorry. what do you mean that you guys met <laughs> rapping and stuff? Like, do you used to rap and you don't rap anymore or you still rap? No, I don't, I don't rap anymore um, unless it's for fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I don't do it anymore. Um we was doing gospel rap together at the time. Right, right. And before that, in 1985, I, I was doing um, secular rap. You said okay. 1985? Yeah. I That's made when I was a born. Song called, I made a song called Ghetto Junk. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. It was a hit. You, you wouldn't know about that. No, nah, not at all. Oh, man. I was, was still it. in Colombia back then, you know? What? So, <laughs> right, you should have heard it in Colombia. It was all over, <laughs> it was it was all all over the world. Over. <laughs> big hit, big hit. That's How does awesome. it go? How does the beat go? Like, kind of refreshing. Man, you money. know it had the Wild Wild West. If you're familiar with the Wild Wild West, okay. it had yeah. that little tune in it. Dun, dun. So, yeah, dun, dun. yeah. Dun, dun, I think that man. pushed it over the top. Yeah, yeah, man, that was crazy. But how did the hook go again, more or less? Oh, it was just jump, 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 jump. Everybody ghetto jump. That's the hook line. And then the hook, the 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 beat will play. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. crazy, man. Wow, right. look at that. So that was 1985. Oh, yeah. That was, I'm going to say 86. 86, 86, 86. I had just got out of high school. Wow. Yeah. And I, so rappers didn't make much money back then. Now, you know, now they make more money. So I'm sure it, that record hit, and you did you make much money on that? or? I mean, the game is still the same. It's just how you play it. You know, ah. record companies still doing the same thing. You know, they're going to get their money first. Yeah. Right, right, right. You know, and they're going to, if you don't know, they're going to give you a, a no money contract. That's just ah. the game. That's just the business of it. You know, mm. these people put millions and millions of dollars behind mm. these records and um, they, they, they're they not going to just give you anything. You know, you, you win off just being popular and then, you know, you market yourself from there. Ah, if you gotta, you're crafty you gotta, enough. You gotta right. build up after you know the fame right, and whatever, right, and try right, to like right, do right. something with it, though. I didn't know that. Right. So you were doing shows and everything. Yeah, I toured with Bobby Brown, Roxanne, um, Luke Skywalker. Before Luke, mm -hmm. I was doing this rap before him. I'm Bro like one of the first rappers in Miami Dade County. One of them. You That's know, wow. they really paved the cool. way for these young wow. folks, and wow. they don't even know who I am. So that's <laughs> good. We can keep it that way. Right, right, right. <laughs> but know. was that a passion of yours when you started rapping and stuff? Or you just no, it wasn't a passion. Um, what it was, it was part of my um, my my ways, my makeup. You know, I was, you know. It, growing up in the hood, I was like more of a paper chaser, and whatever can make money, I would do it. I, you know, if there, and, and it was kind of like these guys came and got me off the block and was like, "Hey man, you want to do some? You want to do some rap music?" I was like, "Yeah," because at the time you think that when you do a song, you get rich. Yeah, right. That was you the know, whole idea. Rich, yeah. so yeah. you know, I just went forward, and that's how I got in the rap game. Check that mm. out, man. Nineteen eighty-five, yeah. man. Yeah. 
praise God. And then what was the game, man? Like once you started like doing all these shows with these artists and stuff, did you get like the fame and the girls and the whole thing that you listened to? Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, um, I experienced the same thing that you see these artists experience and um, the praise. That's what it is. It's the praise. You become like when when you when you see it and you get spiritual, you understand. You become a god out there on stage. And those people become your worship, your mm. worshipers. You know what I mean? I walk on stage, you got girls crying. Um, I don't even know what you're crying for, but <laughs> these girls crying. And, awesome. um, you just got control over just mm. the people, your fans. Okay. You know, it's whatever you say, whatever you do. They wow. just, they in it, you know. They you sway their emotions. And that's right, crazy. right. You like, you, you everything. Wow. You they world, you know. Mm. And wow. um, I experienced that. I experienced mm. that. You know, how long was your ride for? Like, my ride on that was like a year because I wanted out. Hmm. So mm -hmm. you didn't want to stay in the game once you were. Uh, in remember, it? remember now. You gotta remember. Yeah, I was a paper chaser. You want? Yeah, right. you wanted to make money. The minute yeah. I found yeah. out that there was no that money, they weren't paying. <laughs> after the royalty <laughs> check came in, you were out. No, or? sir. <laughs> uh, so what? I'm from the, the hood. You can't pimp my gift. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna let you do that. <laughs> I, I ain't that, that. Oh wow. I ain't gonna do that. Uh, okay. You know. Okay. So what was the royalty check like, man? Well, I think I had a check for like ten grand, right? Okay. But by the time they took all their money out, you know, the check probably was for twenty dollars. Oh wow. wow. With, a, with, a, with a New York the check was from a New York wow. bank that cost you about nine dollars to cash in Florida. Wow. wow. So that's crazy. but they send you like everything that had to be paid. Cause what we ain't realize, see, back in eighty six, studio time was five hundred dollars an hour. Oh, it was super expensive. Ooh. Yeah. Because you know it was with this wow. big. And we were sleeping in the studio. We chilling. We we we, we but they ain't tell us that 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 count oh, as studio wow. time because you utilize in the oh, studio. Oh wow! Oh yeah, so they add all that. Like up. staying Crazy. overnight, yeah. they charge you for studio hours. Listen, the wow. record game is that is the record crazy. game is the real game. You know wow. what I'm saying? <laughs> if you're on top of that, wow. it's plenty of money to be made, but you got to be the guy in charge. I got you. Yeah. I got you. So how did that affect wow. you, like, you know, fame and fortune or, or that experience? Well, not fortune, just Whoa. the fame. Yeah, 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 but, but, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. The, that's the idea that people have in their minds. Right, right, right. right. How yeah. the fame, first of all, I, the fame did not change me. Okay. Because I was famous on the street before mm. I made it. So okay. I know what it is to be famous. You know, I got street credibility. Okay. You could check it. Um. So... I was already famous mm. in my world, you know. I'm, I'm driving mm. the convertibles and all that at 19 years old. And all the girls, everybody know about me So okay. in my hood. So fame wasn't enough mm. to keep me doing that. You know, I needed the money. I got you. Mm. I got you. You know, ain't no money in it. It ain't mm. no need of me pursuing it. So I walked away at peaking in the game. I was like the top artist at the time on the label because I had the hardest song. Mm. And I was still under a five-year contract with an option for them to sign afterwards if they wanted to. I ain't had no choice in the six-year. Wow. Mm. So I was basically in a six-year contract if I continue to make hits over there. I got you. So I got to ask, man, and I'm sure you guys are probably wondering the same thing. How were you famous in the hood? I was famous in the hood because I ran with a certain group of guys. You know, we was like, you know... We was the terror of the city, so I got you. <laughs> people kind of knew, you know, yes. in my yeah. high schools, my schools in our area, they knew like who we were. What did they know you, you as? What did they know you as? Your name, street name. Well, street name. I just was Will, okay. and on the okay. um, record label, I was Cool Will. So they just knew me as Will. Will, okay. Yeah, and my last name. Okay, okay. You know, At. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so he got his street credit, and mm. I get it, man. Well, when he seen that check, ten thousand <laughs> look good, and then it's like ticket, 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 nine dollars. Well, one dollar because it's a ten dollar yeah. check and nothing. Yeah, he, he, it's it's ridiculous what they <laughs> doing to these people. So, what is there more money w within the touring? Were you touring? Yeah, you won't or? make money now because record companies back then, it, it it was illegal for them to interfere. As a manager, they yeah. couldn't be your manager. Oh, so mm. you had your manager outside the record label, and 
you made your money. I mean, you could make money, but, you know, my mindset was, man, when I get old, I don't want to be doing shows. I want to get to a point where I can sit back and just get money. Yeah, you, you wanted money working yeah. for you. You didn't want right, to work right, for right. money. Right, right, right. And I think right. my mindset was that way because God had another plan. Right. And yeah. that wasn't the way he mm. wanted me to go. So, mm. so when I you say God, did, did you grow up in the gospel? or? Yeah, my mom and dad, you know, they took us to church all the time. I remember doing homework in church. Oh, wow. But, you know, I mean, yeah. that's not enough. Right, of course, mm -hmm. of course. You know, that's yeah. not enough. But it's a good thing because it of gives course. you a foundation. It's yes. a good starting point. It's a, it's a yes. foundation that yeah. laid and you can always, like, kind of fall mm. back on it. Absolutely. Gave you something to fall back yeah. on, opposed to having no foundation at all. Wow. And it's funny you say that, chasing the money, chasing the money. When I met you, man, all you did was serve the Lord. You did your music, and you never expected anything. So it's amazing how God will just grab your heart, man, and just flip it around. And now you're going to give me the glory. At least that's what I saw. I don't know. Right, right, yeah. right. I mean, at that point, um, 2004. It wasn't about the money, you know. Right. It just was about you know the glory, yes. giving them the glory because yeah, yeah. I I didn't need it to be famous among the brethren because of I'd already experienced that. I already know what it feel yeah. like, what it looked like, yeah. what it yeah. does to you, and how if it's not channeled right, it can become wicked mm. and sinful without guys really knowing it because. Mm. When I used to come to those concerts, you know, these gospel concerts, I used to just look and shake my head because I was like, look, I know, God, you got these people doing rap and all that, but they need to shake the spirit off this mm. thing because it's the same thing. You know, wow. I see guys, they can't wait to go up. You want to go up first. You want to go up last. You want to come. Yeah. Man, I done seen this. Yeah. This, this worldly, yeah. you know, but I just sit mm. back because it wasn't for me to judge, but. Of course. I knew where it was headed, mm. you know. Yeah, it was uh, the Gospel Factory. I'm sure you probably haven't. You've been there before? One time, man. One time? One time. And that's mm -hmm. where, you know, man, it, that thing was jumping, bro. <laughs> right. I'm talking about, man, it was crazy, man. Right. And and I would see uh, uh, the DJ, um, uh, DJ Obadiah, Obadiah. Yeah. and I'm like, man, what a man of God, bro. Because I went there 100%. To yeah. minister the gospel, to cast out demons, to lay hands on the sick, and to preach the gospel, period. But it was it what, like a concert type of thing yeah. where everybody yeah. was? It was the craziest okay. Christian concert that you can ever imagine, and it was every week. It oh, was wild, cool. and I don't know, there was probably 20 rappers. Like, just, yeah. It was crazy, It's almost man. like the club. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> but now, it was, now it was how, awesome, man. How was your transition from worldly rap to... To gospel rap, like what what kind of encounter did you have with God that you end up doing that? Well, he for just him? spoke to he spoke to my heart, like, hey, it's time to rap. You know, I was like, what kind of rap? He was like, gospel rap. I was like, huh. God, ain't nobody listening. To that. <laughs> that's yeah. That, yeah. that's whack. <laughs> ain't nobody yeah, that's whack. To that. But <laughs> since he called me to do it, I was like, you know, I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. So hmm. I started investing into the um the business, getting the the, the equipment and everything, and hmm. um. Started my own label. We had Life Road Record. I had about 17 um, artists. No, we had Entourage. Oh, yeah. Life oh, Road Record, man. We'll feel the place. <laughs> yeah. um, but what, what year was that? What year was that when that we, started? I want to say like 04, mm -hmm. 05. Okay, so you it was know. around that same time you guys Yeah, got same yeah, time we yeah, met. Yeah, yeah. And what I liked around about him, we he had all these young kids on fire for God. Oh, yeah. He will disciple them. And I'm like, bro, mm. I like this man of God. There was just <laughs> few that I knew that they were... Founded on that rock, Jesus, man. And now going 20 years, you will talk about it in a little bit, but, you know, fast forwarding 20 years, a lot of those guys and girls fell to the wayside, right. you know? But right. yeah, man, solid, solid, man. And I'm like, wow, bro. Like he was speaking, I was all ears, <laughs> you know? I was like all ears, like where does his wisdom come from, man? <laughs> but now cool. I find out, because he said it here in the podcast, that he was a minister before that. So, right. When did you give your life to Jesus? When did you finally surrender it all? 1991. Mm. Mm. 91. Okay. And what, what was, happened? What was, what was your experience with yeah. God? Well, I mean, it started in, I want to say, like, 80... 
I want to say in 87, right? Okay. It started. Because when it comes to the gospel, we got to understand that nobody can't save you. Only mm. God can save you. So, you know, I used to hear people like, oh, I saved some souls. You ain't saved any souls. <laughs> nobody. You can't. You don't have the power. That's nobody. Funny, you don't have though. the power. You yeah. know, I mean, you yeah. can you can plant a seed. That's it. Mm-hmm. But that's it. You can't save nobody. Yeah. But yeah. a lot of people ain't know that at the time. But mm. it's a guy planted the seed. I remember... Yeah. I was at um, high school that central, top back, smoking weed, waiting on lunch break for the girls to come through. And this guy, this preacher, walked up to me. He had on a suit and tie with the with the Bible in his hand. <laughs> All my homeboys, so they cleared it. My homeboys <laughs> cleared it. <laughs> right out. We both, you know, that's the, that's the, when you see that you're supposed to clear it because right. you know they're coming. Yeah. But right. my back was to them. But they was facing them. Uh, they could see them coming. Funny. So they so left. They <laughs> lit it, right? <laughs> they cleared it. And when I turned around, he was in my chest. Oh, dude. oh But he was in wow. my chest. But he said, man, he looked me in the face. He said, man, you hate God. Wow. That's how he came at me. He uh. said, you hate God. And when he said you hate God, he like blew my heart. You mm. know what I'm saying? Because even when you out mm. there doing wrong and doing all that, you don't want to be guilty of hating God. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. You know, because oh, you still praying that God right. help you. In your mess. Yeah. So when he said that, I got mad. I was like, hey, man, first of all, you don't even know me. How you going to tell me I hate God? Mm. He looked me in the face. He said, if you love them, you'll do his will. And walked off. Ooh. Oh. And walked off. He just this dropped that rock on you. This is 87. <laughs> right? Wow. Wow. I didn't even know that was a scripture when he said it. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I ain't get saved right then. I continued yeah. in my foolishness, but that guy planted a seed. Mm. That guy don't even know I'm saved right now today. But wow. wait a second. Wait a second. Wow. How did that... Like, you know, he says that, and what, what did that cause in you? Like, what, what was the, you know, because we talk about yeah. the seed, and right. people don't understand it. So I want, I want to translate those words into what yeah. feelings did you get, and how did that bounce mm. in your head that made you feel something? Well, what, what, what made me feel something was when he said, I hate God. Right. That blew my heart because that made me aware. No, 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 I don't hate God. I ain't finna walk around with that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But... Where after he planted the seed, it was nothing felt because it's almost like when you plant a seed regularly, there's nothing seen. Yeah. Yeah. There's no feeling. There's no look. There's just dirt out there. Yeah. You don't know what's planted. You don't know what's happening under the soil. Yeah. yeah. So it was no feeling it gave me because I still had the same mindset after he left. Okay. okay. But the seed was already planted. It was mm. growing. Now it's waiting on the water. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yep. His job was just to plant the seed. Yeah. He shook you a Not little to bit. Give, he just shook me on the part. He startled me on the part of you hate God. Right. You know, right. he startled me with that. Wow. But he was a seed planter. Mm. Then it came some years later. Um, this guy was begging me to go to a revival. One of the guys mm. who hung out with me, he, he had done got saved. You know, we still in the world, you know, at the time, you know, I'm, I'm running a gambling house, you know, <laughs> This guy coming every day. <laughs> hey man, we got a revival. Can you go? Can wow. you go with me? Can you go with me? I'm That's like, nah. Awesome. I, I'm like, nah, man. I'm not going with you to church. On that Friday, he came. He said, man, listen, man, mm. this is the last day of revival, man. Can you come? Can you come? So I was like, mm. man, I'm a go. So I went. Yeah. So I sat through the whole thing, and at the end, the guy said, hey man, anybody want to get saved? So. He pushing me to go get saved. Go up there. I said, man, I ain't coming to get saved, bro. <laughs> man, you tripping. I ain't going up there. I just, I just yeah. came because you were said, nagging me. I said, I said, yeah, I said, I just came with you. <laughs> and so some kind of way, the guy who was running the revival, me and him got yeah. in a conversation. He was, and I was like, mm. I was like, man, listen, first of all, I ain't got the, I ain't got the mind to want to be saved. <laughs> I said, but you could pray for me that I get the mind to be saved. Oh, mm. wow. See what I'm dude. saying? So the guy said, you know what? That's good. Come up up here. Because a lot of people ain't saved because they don't have the mind ah, to be saved. I so you. I let them pray for me the one day that I get the mind to want to be saved. That guy done watered the seed that that mm, guy planted. Yeah, so you got yeah. the water now. Wow. Damn, of course. That was 1991. That's so, no, that's 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 not 91. We ain't 91 yet. We we okay. 87 was the seed player, ah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nine, we want to say like we say. 87, 89. Got it. Got it. Was that, you know. Okay. Because even after he watered the seed, you mm. know, I kind of still doing my own thing. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Of course. Of course. I'm still doing my yeah. own thing. And um, I know for a fact God, the only one could get an increase. Mm. 
That's it. So one morning, I think, woke me up about 3, 4 in the morning and said, hey, man, get saved or die tonight. I knew it was God. Oh. I knew it was him. I knew it was him. Wow. It wasn't no, it wasn't no hesitation about it. But wait like a second. That. You were sleeping it. and all of a sudden you got that? Yes, woke up. Oh, like, wow. Get saved dude. tonight. Get saved or die tonight. Just straight. Just straight. Yo, I got the holy straight. goosebumps. That's just crazy, straight. bro. You know, I woke up the next day telling people we ain't smoking no weed, ain't no gambling <laughs> going over here, none of that. They thinking I'm crazy. Wow. Uh, I shut the, I shut that thing down wow. immediately. They were like, man, what this sudden change? Nah, from hell. I said, nah, nah, nah. I, that's just happened on a Sunday night, probably 12 in the morning, so it would be Monday morning, right? Mm. Yeah. So I ain't know you couldn't get, I ain't know that you could be saved without going to church. So I'm thinking I got to wait You got to wait a whole week. Wait. That's so a I'm lot thinking of I'm, I'm, out that I'm unsaved. <laughs> so I'm yep. waiting for Sunday. Wow. So I, start, I went into a fast, bro, <laughs> all the way crazy. to Sunday till I get to church, bro. <laughs> Everybody was like, man, this man tripping. What's going on with him? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was real. You know wow. what I'm saying? I yeah. knew it was real. Wow. And I realized, you know, later on that God got a sense of humor because... Mm. I was saved that night when I chose to get saved. That's you know it. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. But I yeah. ain't know it. But he let it yeah. play out. We're going to play this mm. thing out. So I remember Sunday mm. came. I went to my dad's church, right? Sat through the church, man. I was bored, bro, because I'm like, when the end of this? Because I know <laughs> I'm at like, the I, end, I need to get this thing yeah. going, they call bro. for you to come yeah. up. So I'm <laughs> like, man, right. man, y'all get to the end of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this service this service too long, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know it was long because we went to Holiness Church, and you know, oh, you yeah. know the Holy Ghost here. Uh-huh. That's another hour. On Five that more time. minutes. I'm almost they, done. Yeah, you they, already know they, another they, hour. It, it wasn't Overtime. no time in the clock. Right. It wasn't no clock in the church back right. then. Oh, yeah. They no, go all day. Bro. Ain't no we doing yeah. no hour. No, we doing yeah. till it's done. Yeah. Mm. So I remember the preacher getting up there, and he started saying he st- he went into the benediction. Okay, we finna. I, I raised my hand, bro. Mm. He was like, what's up, young man? I said, man, you ain't doing no altar call. Yeah. And the church packed. You ain't doing no. That's why I don't believe in, oh, put your head down and come up here. Nobody don't need to see you. No, 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 no. When you finna get saved, you don't care who see you. Come on. Ain't no shame about it. Yeah. You gonna go. Yeah. The man said, oh, well, come on up. Mm. So he went up there and he led me to Christ, you know, in that way that, you know, that traditional way. And um, the, the sinner's prayer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 But I didn't know I was already saved. But right. I went through all that, and then, you know, I mm. showed no shame, you know. Yeah, so yeah. that's why I know when he saved me, he saved me for real. So yeah. I don't have to, I don't have to be what people want me to be or think I should be yeah. to know that I'm saved. Come on. You know what I'm saying? That's so right. I'm free from that. Amen. Yeah. Mm. But we have the same mindset in this oh, room, yeah. man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Amen. So when did you start ministering? Like right after that, like man, immediately. Wow. You know, I was in church doing like um, youth ministry because you, you was as a child. I became already. like yeah, I became mm. like doing these youth um, pastoring. Um, man, people was praying me, paying me to come preach, bro. Wow. I mean, Praise I was, God. I was, I was, I was doing a lot of um, ministry. I remember one guy asked me to um, wanted me to be a pastor of a church. Hmm. In Overtown, the guy said, hey, listen, man, um, because I spoke there. He was like, listen, you can be the pastor of this church. I'm about to retire. Um, I'm going up to the board this week. Um, You could go with me. You could go with me. I can introduce (laughs) you to the board and stuff like that. I told him, I said, nah, man, my ministry outside. Come on. Yeah. I I can't preach on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember that pastor passed away the next year. Wow. He said he was going to retire. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But he wanted me to um, take over the church. I said, nah, man, I'm outside. I wow. can't be inside. Mm. So then you got saved, started preaching. When did God speak to you? It was 91 to start doing music? So, no. no. 91. No, uh-huh. I'm preaching all the way through to 2000. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 2002 okay. or 2000. Uh, I started with that rap. Okay. Not until okay. 2000. 2003, 2004. He came, hey man, won't you, uh, you know, come into that? Okay, okay. You know. Wow. And what was like? What was your first lyric like writing for for God instead of like the regular... devil is a liar. Mm. 
How does that, that hook go? Wine. I don't remember that. How does the hook? How does the hook? Go? I, when you came on the scene, I wasn't even doing it no more. Okay, okay, that's <laughs> right. It was that devil, that devil, that devil is a liar. Uh, He's the father of lies. Okay. And then okay. I had another one called um, um, what's your zip code? Is it H E L L? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like really like straight at it, like yeah. yeah. It was like <laughs> it was like it was like a, a, a heater, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When I first started, you know, I wasn't too much of a dancer, and his songs got me to dance. That one <laughs> yeah, song, yeah. Then the I came with yeah, get on the train, you get know on the I mean? train. I was like, what? I was with Jen at the time. I'm like, what y'all girl? Yeah. This white boy gonna move? <laughs> yeah. It was like yeah, I'm gonna get on the train. I'm yeah. gonna get on the train. <laughs> it was trend setting because. Yeah. Before I made get on the train, it wasn't no. They weren't doing no dancing really, right? With the gospel, not in our circle. No, you know. But no. when they see when they seen that the train was really moving, people started making dance songs a little bit. Yeah. And then we kind of switched it up and start going into like um a little um into the prosperity side. Mm -hmm. You know, I okay. started making songs like Christian Grilling. You know, all up. My okay. whole crew had grills yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And we were showing you could still be a Christian. So, yeah. And then we wound up on video mix, um, the word channel. I mean, it, it, we was we was moving with this thing. Yeah. Um, then I noticed a lot of people start doing the little grills, do start have, doing the same thing. People start putting the grills yeah, in yeah, and yeah. this and that. Yeah. And then I went away from that and went to like the gangster side. Hmm. Okay. We had a song called Christ My Gangster. Hmm. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we so started sweet. doing that. Then I noticed that other people started making the records. Oh, I've been shot at. I've been so uh -huh, it's just stopped uh -huh, going. Uh -huh. Like a trend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like it was yeah. like I ain't realize it, but when I look back, yeah. I was kind of setting a little trend and you know, among my brethren in that circle. Yeah. You know, because I you know, I just wanted to show them that you could be yourself because remember now I had the old school car, you remember it? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, with yeah. the TV on the inside, yeah. the sound, the rims, the whole thing, the jewelry, all of that. You know, and I used to have some guys that, you know, some of the younger guys that's coming up in the feet, yeah. they didn't, they, they couldn't understand it. You know, they thought yeah. it was, they thought it was worldly. Correct. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, 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 they yeah, thought yeah, it was yeah. worldly. Oh, he's yeah. worldly. You know, yeah. he ain't saved. Yeah. You know, I, I heard guys, you know, get up there and talk. In that direction, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I, I want, you know, I want, I want to tap into <laughs> that because that yeah. is really interesting. And, yeah. and for example, for me, I don't know if 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 I'm reading it right or not, but you know, you preach for X amount of years, and then you you are preaching pretty much in the street, and then you get into this rap game. How is the battle between doing something that has defined your past? doing it for God without carrying that whole past thing. I was like, oh, that's worldly. And here in the church, we don't do that and blah, blah, blah. Be the reason why I'm asking this is part of the reason why most people say, I don't want to preach in a, in a church. I want to preach in the streets is to actually avoid all of that. Avoid all of that judgment and all of that thing of like the politics, the church politics. Oh, right, in right. the church, you have yeah. to you have to wear the suit and tie yeah. and blah blah and blah. Rap during and, that time was of the devil. And, and then and then <laughs> and then and yeah. then we yeah. what we say is, yeah. yo, I don't want that suit and tie. I don't want that stuff. I want yeah. to keep being me. Yeah. But I'm but I'm all for God. Right. So when you did that, what was the backlash? You know, between between who you used to be and 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 that. Go deep into that because that was that's really right. interesting, well, man. Okay, the, I'm going to talk about just the battle with myself in it. Yes. Opposed to anybody else. Right. It it, w it was easy for me because I knew God had saved me for real. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know they saved for real because they get saved again. I'm seeing them coming yes. up there, get saved, <laughs> backsliding and born all again, that. Born again, born again. You know what I'm saying? But so, I, I did that I, in ignorance, man. Like every, right, yeah. every time they would do an altar call, like, oh, come. And right. I'll be like, oh, okay, right. I did it like 10 times because right, right, I right. had no idea. Because you could only be saved one time. Yeah. Right. So Amen. I came into this circle with with, with biblical knowledge hmm. that a lot didn't have. Yes. A lot was just rapping. Yes. They had no word. They couldn't even pray. A lot yep. of them didn't know how to pray. Yeah. So I came into that circle, but I came into it with no judgment. Yeah. But yeah. here's what God does. You know, God showed me earlier. He didn't want me to change who I am. He wanted me to be who I am for him and not the devil. 
Mm. So I came, this I am. You know, I was flashy when I was in the world, right? Yep. And that's God's fault because he flashy because what he needs, streets of gold, walls of pearls and all that, and right. that tabernacle and all that. So God started it. Yeah. He created you like right. that. He told yeah. his first man, Adam, see that? See that See that river right there? That's where the gold at. What he telling them that for? Yeah. So I knew I serve a God that wants you to have. Yeah. You understand? Definitely. And he wants you to have more than you had when you was working for the enemy. See, yep. I knew that when I came in. Okay. And I understood that the scripture when it said, um, um, be not like the world, right? I kept reading. And I found out he's not talking about the outside. He's talking about the inside. You still being a sinner. Mm. See, because you could clean all this up on the outside and still be a sinner Come on, on the inside. Yeah. Come on. Mm. Yep. And... Church clothing is not that's not that's not real. Mm. Yep. yep. Because gangsters wore suits. Yeah. Killing people in suits. You yep, know, right. they wore them first. Al Capone and all they wore suits. So don't yep. tell me that's church clothing. Right. You know, right. if that is, right. then that's a whole nother that's a whole nother subject right, right. there. Yep. You right. know, you calling that church clothing, that carries a spirit too, because we've seen a lot of mm. killing take place in that <laughs> same type of, you know, uniform. outfits. In that, those in that, uniforms. In that uniform, so you know? when did y'all <laughs> when did y'all clean that and ordain it and make right. it church clothing? Yeah. You know, yeah. so you know, it's just that I was advanced in the word of what God was telling me because God had to do a quick work in me. So I was like more like advanced. I had done I had done, took an online class with Rhema Bible School, Dynamic Faith. I had done graduated in that when I'm on the scene. So I know all this. Ah. Laying hands on the sick and all that. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I know all of this. Hmm. And then experienced it and had it when I was out preaching. Remember now, 91, I'm preaching. I'm teaching Bible classes in, in the hood. But you're preaching Laying without, hands without, on the without sick music. And all that. Yeah. Like without, it was music. without music. Ain't no music involved cool. here. Yeah, that was 2004. Ain't no music. Ain't no music involved in yeah. 2004. Mm, right. So you're yeah. solely found in the so world. When the music yeah. come in, I tell the people I'm not a rapper. I had a, mm. I'm a preacher with a mic. You understand mm, what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't yeah, never yeah. said I was a rapper. Right. I, I just tell them I'm a preacher with a mic. Yes. I even had a song called Ghetto Preacher. Mm. You know, so I was well, like, educated more in the word than in the rap than a lot of the people that was in this show. 100%. Circle. You know That's what I'm cool. saying? Yes. I looked at they babies in Christ, even the ones under yeah. me. Yeah. You know, I'm looking at it like they 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 rap is first. Yeah. You know, not the word. Yeah. Rap is first. Yep. That's why if you go in there, you give them too much word and all that, they'll shut down and leave the place. Yep. Yep. I'll step to you and say you preach too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You know I ain't I'm lying. guilty. I'm guilty. You wow. know, you, was, you know, you know I'm a not guy a, are you worship too much. Yeah. Yeah. And other people yeah. got to go on. Yep. Yeah. You know, the people be mad, man. Yeah. I ain't go up yet and he done and now it's over. Yep. Oh wow. You I see what I'm saying? Stupid, Listen, bro. in in the parking lot in the gospel factory in the parking lot, a guy hit me with his car. Hit me yeah. with his car and he gave me a bad look. And I was like, I thought I did a good thing. Because you know more than anybody, I would shut it down. When I would come up and do my, my rap music, like the spirit would come. The spirit will like, come. Didn't yeah. you experience it? Yeah. It was just shut down. And then you have all, I don't know, six, seven people that didn't get to rap, but they're practicing all week and we're worshiping right, and right. praying and seeking God all week. So when the power comes down, the healing didn't it take place there? Yeah. <laughs> Deliverance, salvation. It was the spirit of the Lord was there in but, the midst of rap. But that's really cool, yeah. you know, that you guys say that because, for example, like somebody that might hear this kind of conversation and that likes rap or that likes music yeah. might not understand what you guys are saying. Hey, the purpose of that concert was for people to be touched by God yeah. and not to be touched by rappers. Yeah. Hey, there's seven rappers. Oh, but the Holy Spirit showed up with the third one, and then it shut it down, and then these other three or four didn't go through. Right. Oh, I'm really upset. Bro, why are you upset about it? God showed up. He did his thing. That's what it is. Right. But in our ego... Oh man, I've, I've been practicing these songs, you know. Like I gotta, yeah. I gotta lay, you know, lay it out there and then see what's up. And that's the stuff that yeah. we don't understand. That's normal in the world, man. Right. But in 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 the kingdom, yeah. it's totally different because it's not about us. It's about it's about the king. Yeah, it was me, 
DJ Obadiah and Galilee 316. That was his rap name. Shut it down. When the spirit says, stop, I want to be worship. We will hear his voice. And that was the ultimate voice. And we will worship. We would pray. Whatever the spirit said to do, we would do. We wasn't there for music. Music was just a bait to fill up the room. Yeah. And uh, it was a vehicle. Yeah. Like that, that was the vehicle to bring people yeah. in. And I, yeah, and, that's I so and, cool. and I you gotta imagine me, it was I was this white guy with the dicky outfit, uh, you know, the, the grill in the bottom, and I came with my you know, my group, and my group didn't look like your regular Christian folks. <laughs> so we just I met Galilee, bro, we just jailed. I'm like, bro, this guy has my heart, man. <laughs> and DJ Obadiah, man, it was just powerful. Now we did get to see a lot of people fall off that that boat, right? Man. And a lot of people died. Uh, uh, George, uh, what's his name? Um, the promoter, uh, George Lopez. Lopez, man. He was kind of the ones that got all the rappers in the beginning. Yeah. I was going to say, who started the Gospel Factory? Like, what was that movement? Well, well, the Gospel Factory, I got to give the credit to uh, George Lopez. Because when I first met George Lopez, he kind of pulled me in and poured like, a lot of us in because yes. he was like a promoter to get us to do these shows on yes. parks and stuff like that. And um, he introduced me to like having like a little setup like that. So I actually had one before the gospel. Um, before that, I had one called the train where we was doing it at this church. DJ Overdyer had one. He was doing it with, um, remember the white guy he had, what his name was? Um, DJ. Prince J. Okay, okay. Prince J used to allow DJ Obadiah to use their church. They was ah, doing this stuff before the Gospel Factory. Yes, yes, yes. Prince yes, J yes. is the one that a yes. church that invests in DJ Obadiah okay. to even have a DJ that set. That was north, further north, yeah. right? Yeah. They even have a DJ set. They've okay. been doing this. Okay, The yes. Gospel Factory was last okay. to come on the scene yes. and actually doing that type of activity. Got it. But you it wasn't it was it like more organized or, or no, what was none deal? of it was organized. No. The, the thing is, what had happened, like we was all like, you know, you always maturing in Correct. Christ. You know, yeah. I wasn't grown. I wasn't to my fullness right. myself, but I was advanced more than the Absolutely. people around me. Yes. Um, the thing was they wanted to separate that from church. Oh. Meaning, if when you come here, we just coming to have fun. You want all this praying that he's doing and laying here? Go to church Sunday. Right. Mm. Oh. There's an outlet yeah. away God. from that, so the kids can. That's what they want to do. Oh. They want to separate it. But so it's kind of like a youth activity. Right. Right. Oh, right. Okay. Not not okay. not a not a not a not Sunday a church itself. Yeah. At a ministry. Okay. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So yeah. that was the biggest thing. They wanted to separate it. Right. Right. But it's hard to separate God from his own program. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? So <laughs> yeah. that, that became a yeah. clash. That became a clash because yeah. what God was trying to yeah. do was get in it. Yeah. And get everybody in it. So that what has happened since then wouldn't have happened. Mm. All these people falling away. And the stuff they was doing and all that. You have some ministers leave there and go smoke a joint down the street. Right oh, after. Wow, oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah, oh, yeah, doing all that. Even crack. You know, smoking <laughs> oh, before wow. they come. Smoking That's before crazy, they smoking yo. before they come. Yeah. But they'll talk about their delivered. Yeah. But, you know, and then right And they after got them, mics up there preaching. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And I'm and like, you're yeah. not living there. What? Right, no, wait right, a second. Right, no, no, right, no, no, right. no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no so you see guys doing that, and you're like super. I mean, if he's like you, then he then, is. then you yeah. know you guys are all in. Right. You guys are all in into holiness, and hey, I'm yeah. doing this for God. And then you see that. Yeah. How did you survive that, bro? Like, <laughs> well, how you survive it is like what you say. In the songs that I was making, mm -hmm. I had them geared to. I'm preaching in here. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Okay. You yeah. you you can hardly dance to it, but mm -hmm. you can hear the message. Yeah. You had to be like, you had to you had to be wise on how you promote the gospel in there to get people to understand. Yeah. Okay. You know, to get people to understand where they're wrong at in this. You know what I'm saying? Because you're dealing with like a whole bunch of babies in Christ 
and a whole bunch of people that are not saved at all. Yep. That's saying they say yes. Wow. That's going up there, yeah. you know, speaking against me. You yeah. understand oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, Stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. And and I'm looking at it like, you know, you know, I had one guy come on the scene. I never forget in the gospel right. The guy come on the scene. Oh yeah, you know, people riding here. You know, you got the jury on like it's about the money and the cars and all <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. And I'm like, man, who else in here got that? <laughs> I'm the only one got that right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 ain't, yeah, ain't nobody else got that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I challenged awesome. the young man on the yeah. side. I pulled him. I said, Hey, let me ask you something. I heard you talking up there. Hmm. Do you do you think mm -hmm. that maybe I'm unsaved or something like that? Huh. No, no. Why would you say that? I said. Because you spoke against me. Yes. By talking about the jury. No, I wasn't talking about you. Then who are you talking uh -huh. about? Because yeah. ain't nobody. I don't, I'm looking yeah. around. Yep, 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 yep. You know, I'm looking around, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I had situations like that. It's but crazy. it, 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 yeah. it never really bothered me because it, it never changed me. Now, I where agree. I was. Now, yeah. this is what I didn't understand. This is where I was a baby in Christ at. I didn't know that I can use my gift any longer for the world. Hmm. I thought my gift was only for the church. So I would turn down these rappers who wanted me to uh, do their videos and pay me. I was like, nah, this gift for the world. I mean, for the church. church. I didn't realize that. To, and it took years till God spoke to me. He said, now, it's time to stop with this. He said, your gift make room for you. The wealth of the wicked is lined up for the jest. How you think you're going to get it? You got to have something they want to pour it into you because they ain't going to just wake up and drop it on yep. you. Your gift will make room for you. So he gave me this example. He said, let me ask you something. So if I would have made you a doctor, your gift was the doctor. You would only treat and people And that guy from the was church. a sinner that came in. I told you, hey, man, that guy just killed somebody. <laughs> yeah. What you tell right. the people, I'm not going to try to save him. Yeah, right. Or if you go to, if I made you a fireman and you go to a burning building, they say, hey, man, everybody was smoking crack in there and number but sinners in there. <laughs> right, what right. do I do? I'm not going in there. Right, right. He said, no, no, no. He says it's the same yeah. thing with your gift. Your gift make room for you. Hmm. So that once I figured that out, it kind of completed me in my really thought pattern of what God wanted me to do. That's Amen. so cool. That's and really you cool. See how, how different God yeah. spoke to me? So we have two different lanes. Me, I would rather die than promote somebody's ministry. For example, rap, right. somebody, you know, with women dancing on tables and strip club, I would rather die broke <laughs> than promote that ministry, right. you know? But that's my conviction. Everybody has yeah. a different conviction, yeah. you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've always... Now, now you have to yeah. have, you, like you say, you have to have integrity. Of course. I'm not going to take of pictures of naked women. Right. I ain't going <laughs> right. to shoot no club or nothing like that. Yeah. But if that guy got something that's wholesome, that he going to pay me... I'm doing it. Right. You know, you got to know where your standards yes. go at. You got to have your morals. Right. You know, I ain't finna shoot no naked ladies right. or doing none of that. Right. Uh, right. Or no pornography or nothing like yeah. that. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. But, you know, I mean, even yeah. like doing commercials, those people are worldly of course. as well. Of course. You know, you could be shooting yeah. a commercial for, yeah. for, for um, yeah. a child molester, all you know, because right. he ain't saved. Right. Yeah. So, right. you know, you got to... Yeah. You know, yeah. God is not judgy like that. Yeah. And I would do you that know, too. He's wise. But I would not do a video for a child molester that has children in there. You yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. I'm talking if about I that know kingdom. That. If yeah, I know yeah. that, it ain't yeah. just going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. But, yeah. but yes, so you got to have yes. your integrity. Yeah. But the reason why I wanted to you be know. specific is because you got brothers in church. Like I know a worship leader yeah. that his pastor knows, and he goes to strip clubs where the weed, the women, naked, and he's videotaping rappers, and he comes to me with a straight face. There's nothing wrong with that. I said, so you do that on Saturday and you're worshiping on Sunday? He goes, yeah. I said, you got a seared conscience, brother. Right. So what's going on? Yeah. You got to be able to, to, to work for the world and keep your integrity. Yes. Yeah. That's the thing. You got to still have integrity. Yes. But, but you touched something really cool there because sometimes you're in – Hard situations where you have to work for the money. Yeah. But you have to pick and choose, man. Because right. when, when your job is going to bring your conscience to a place where you don't want to be with God, man. Right. I'd right. rather say no to that job right. Than, right. Than, than, than make the money and, and, and have that thing in my conscience. Of bro. course. Right. Like it's of just, course. That's and, integrity. And, that's and, and I've, right. had, and I've yeah. had those situations recently. You know, yeah. like in a couple of podcasts, uh, I was saying... Uh, I had a chance, you know, like I needed work because I was in a really bad situation right. money wise. And they offered me to sell like all C these CBD, all these CBD, all these weed stuff. 
And I was like, oh, man, like, yeah, it's a product. Uh, but I, I just fell in my heart. Like, that's right. not me, bro. Right. I cannot promote that. I cannot be selling that and right. then be here in this podcast like, oh, yeah, I'm a Christian. And yeah. oh, yeah, I believe yeah. in God. And bro, yeah. I can't. I right. can't. That's so your conviction. I, I had to say no to the job and I had yeah. to say no to the money because I would feel like garbage yeah. doing right. it, right. paying the bills and whatever. But, you know, how... How can I face God the next day, bro? Right. Like, I can't. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, it's yeah. like what you're saying. It, yeah. You know. Yeah. You ain't going to do anything. I say like this to the people who are listening and might be a little confused on this. <laughs> I'm going to say, don't do anything you know you can't put your name on. It. Mm. Yeah. You know your own heart. You yes. know your conviction. Yeah. You yeah. know. It's yeah. things out there I know I can't do and say I was a part of that. Yeah. So then I'm, I stay away from that. Now, yeah. I, I know, I, you know, you know better. When you know yeah. God, you know better. God leading you anyway. And yeah. he will tell you. He, like leading he you. will tell he you. He leading yeah. you. I wanted to ask you because mm. I, I don't know. Um, so we know George Lopez passed away. Right. He went to go be with the Lord. Um, Redeem passed away. Yeah. What, what did he die of again? Was it? I think he had a stroke in prison. Oh, he was in prison. I didn't yeah. know that. He was in prison. Wow. So a stroke in prison. And then Prodigal Son, I heard he died? No, I ain't never heard that. Yeah, who told us? who? So when was this? Someone came mm. to the podcast and, and mentioned that. Oh, the guy the guy that was uh, the, was a music producer? Oh, um, uh, oh, goodness. What's his name? We had him. I, I, DJ PK? DJ PK. Remember DJ PK? Yeah, he would know if Prodigal Son died. He yeah, would know. he told us. And I was like, but I, I just. Think, I think he was the one. Yeah, it was him. It, yeah. And, and I didn't. I wouldn't I didn't ask that. him. Oh, you uh, didn't know that? No. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, I, was, no. I think our, the first death that happened was uh, Dre. Remember Dre? His wife. So Dre, the rapper. He was oh, in your, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. One Accord. I talked to Dre all the time. One Accord. So, Dre Breezy. So that was like the first uh, tragedy that we experienced, you know? And after that, man, years went by, and a, a couple of, like I said, Redeem, and I heard Prodigal Son, and man, my heart. Prodigal like, Son. Wow. That, that's, uh, that, that's shocking. I yeah. That's, that's, I got to look into that. Yeah. See yeah. how true that is, you know? Well, I mean, we're talking about DJ PK. He was, he was sure. Unless yeah. he's probably talking about another prodigal son. I don't know. <laughs> but I, don't I just know. know one prodigal son, <laughs> Me too. you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It might be but, another prodigal out there. I don't yeah. know. Because yeah. I don't know how related. Because I don't remember PK being in our circle with prodigal son. No. No, he came more towards. Yeah. You guys actually all met it at Wynwood, you know, when I had my events. That's where um, DJ PK kind of came into the scene. Right. I gave him Well, I had met table. PK at... Um, was he already doing uh, music? Yes. I met him at Newbert. Used to have... They okay. bought the Pack Jam off 2nd Avenue. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And okay. they had a program mm. they was doing over there. That's when I ran into PK. Got and Elegance and them boys over okay. there. Got it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I had given him, I think, his first turntable. And he was so excited, man. Man, you yeah. blessed me, Pastor Serge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so that was he, day one. he might be correct. You know, I I lost track of what PK was doing. Mm. So describe to me like that that entourage. You said like you know you used to come, you know, packed out in 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 the Gospel Factory, and then that 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 relationship with that entourage, like were they just disciples? Were they under your label? You said you had a label. Were they signed? They, yeah. Like, I, I look more like, you know, I didn't do any signing with these people. Okay. I, I look more of it like it was ministry. Like yeah. this is my 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 church. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. so these cool. are my this is my ministry. Yeah, the yeah. guys that's in here, they're gonna learn more than rap. Yeah. You know, they're going to learn how to pray. They're going to know the word. So, so you were doing life with no them. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I was doing what we doing right here. I was doing this with them. We didn't know it was podcasting. What I would do in the studio, I would just push play and we'd just talk about situations. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I wish we would have kept that. We had long wow. tapes of that yeah. thing. We should do so that were, like all the time. You were podcasting before yeah. podcasting. I didn't know yes. it was podcasting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know it was podcasting, right. but we would do that and we would record it. That's you know? so cool. We went, man. we didn't have a camera on it, but we would record it just talking, you know. I got to see a lot of your Miami Heat podcasts 
back in the yeah, days. Yeah, then I was doing yeah, that, and I, I didn't know it was that. podcasting. Uh, and I was getting thousands of views yeah. per night I when re- I do that thing I with LeBron. Your- <laughs> Only <laughs> stop because LeBron's left. So I would do it every oh, time wow, after the yeah, game. Yeah, wow. Yeah. And it was like ridiculous. And I had like the green screen in the yep, back. Yep, all that. Nobody yep, wasn't doing that, man. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Nobody yep. wasn't doing that. I was yep. like, I don't even know what this is. You know, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> then they come back to this podcast. And they, huh. but, Whenever yeah. I wanted to get in That's a little cool. deep with the heat, I would just log in. Yeah. And I'll be like, okay, okay. And he'll be all passionate yeah, had, about yeah. it. I'm like, bro. No, we had that slogan. <laughs> yep. Heat fans, heat up, heat up, heat up. Yeah. <laughs> they love they man. It was, it was, it was a good little idea. Man, you yeah. know, talking about um um shows, aren't you doing a show now on Sundays? What I'm doing now, I got my own podcast, and okay. I'm producing a lot of podcasts for people. You know, I got my own podcast um studio down on Brickle. Um, you know, me and my wife do a relationship podcast where we just talk about relationships and stuff like that. Being together for 24 years, mm-hmm. you know, just trying to. Show people that, you know, it do work. And, you know, I feel that I have a right to talk about it because I got the receipt. I got a woman 24 years. <laughs> yes, you know sir. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, you can say what you want to say, but you ain't got no woman. And, but she you supported know, you. Exactly. And I watched her, bro. So, like, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, yeah. she bought the first drum machine, mm. the, the Kaya, when we started with them, the music thing. Wow. She bought that and the piano. So, yeah. She was like, nah, you need to get that right now. <laughs> yeah. She so, was support, man. Yeah, and I'll be like, yeah. that's... That's so cool. You know, Realize think- and Chico, I think they were, you know, they would support each other. But, man, I would see your wife and I'll be like... Because I watched. Yeah. Remember, this was early in the game. This yeah. was... And I'm like, okay, his wife is going to leave him because he's doing too much ministry, you know, in the beginning. <laughs> but, bro, his wife <laughs> was just, man, so praise yeah. God you guys are doing that podcast, yeah, yeah. man. My yeah. wife, she was like a, a, a silent partner. Mm-hmm. She never got into business. She mm-hmm. let me rant the business. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She just yeah. supported. Whatever you're going through, I support that. So that helped a lot too when you have a wife that yes. allows you to run your business. Mm-hmm. That's awesome, man. You know, mm-hmm. even if you headed in the wrong direction, she allow you to fail and then support you. Wow. You know, instead of arguing with you, don't go that way, don't go that way. Yep. You know, we'll talk about it after you go that way. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So. That helped me. So she's like a woman that allow you to be a man. Wow. You know. That's beautiful, bro. That's a difference. Wow. So mm. finally, I get to ask the question, man. Mm. How did you become a billionaire, bro? It says <laughs> Shiba billionaire <laughs> well, crypto. Man, now you got some explaining to well, do. Well, I mean, it's, it's going to be easy to explain. You know, uh, it's not going to be really lengthy to explain it, you know. Shiba is like my biggest invest investment in crypto. That's a coin. It's called Shiba Inu. Okay. You know, is right now it's under penny. Um, still a good time to buy in. One time for the Wolf Pack. That's the name <laughs> of our community. We the Wolf Paper. Yeah. We the Wolf Paper Bank Row. Um, with Shiba, first first let me say this with crypto. I'm not gonna reveal how much I made or how much. I have because that's why it's called crypto, so that I can, so so that the government don't know and nobody else don't know. Everything be a secret. Ah. You can't you can't Google me and know what I'm worth because okay. it's in crypto. You understand? When that's you, the beauty of crypto. When did you get in? When did you get into it? I got into crypto like just four years ago. Oh, okay. 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 You know, mm. four years ago. Yeah, that's when that's yeah, when that's, that's when the, the whole bubble yeah, 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 if you're 2020, you got uh-huh. paid if you was right. Yeah, okay. and uh, okay. when, when we were going through COVID, yeah, that's when it when it started blowing yeah, up because people had, a, had yeah. time to Big actually. Big bull run, you know yeah. what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. A lot of people, you know, you had one guy invested in the Shiba in in 20, I think in 19, no, in 20 when it first came out, he put like eight thousand dollars in, um, and then 20, 400 days later, and um. 400 days later, he, in, in November, I think it was October, we had the big blow up like 900% or something crazy. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. October, November, crypto went like ballistic. That guy, $10,000, $8,000 was worth $7.3 billion. Wow. Yo. <laughs> That's in 400 crazy. days. Yo. Wow. It's no return out there like that. I mean, 
Is his name William P.T. by any chance? I, I don't know the guy's <laughs> name. But I know this for a fact. You know, it, yeah. Crypto is the way to go. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's go. crazy. That's, that's crazy. That's you know, just think awesome. Bitcoin 10 years ago wow. was a dollar. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it, it touched, what, 73,000 70, the other day? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, or something uh-huh. like that. Uh-huh. You know, it's a, it's a bull run season. It's going to happen. Yeah. 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 Do you think the government is going to eventually take it over? The government already own it. Oh, they do already. To me, to me. From my study, okay. I think the government own Bitcoin. Okay. Let me just keep it real. I think okay. they throw it okay. out there just to see what it could do. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Because it has no owner. Then you got BlackRock that come in from nowhere. Everybody else been trying to do this. Yep. You know, mm-hmm. and you know, they gave Black, BlackRock the, the go ahead. With to, crypto? Yeah, with, come? With, with, with Bitcoin. Okay. So they can they can kind of act like they're the owners and sell it and this and that. They oh, get wow. the institutions to come in and feel safe. So it's kind of regulated. So they came in and they they spent what four hundred million or something like that, some crazy number in Bitcoin. They 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 gathering up all this Bitcoin, and um, the government had turned down everybody. Just the first people they allowed to do that. That's crazy, so, man. And Black you got to understand who BlackRock is. Yeah, BlackRock Bla- Black Black owns understand. the world. Pretty you much. got to understand BlackRock. Yeah. So yeah. now BlackRock just took it to another level. Hmm. Crypto ain't going nowhere. It's solid, man. It's solid. Why would you say that? Because you got to understand, you're dealing with a company that owns, like, that's got their hands in 99.99% of every. Industry. Business in the Industry. world. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. They not gonna school me. So, I don't so, know. So, so yeah. I learned. You know, you have to follow the money. Hmm. Rich people don't invest in something to lose in. They not gonna invest to lose. Yep. They have to know. So they know. Hmm. So if you want to be on top, you follow the money. Look, okay. Why is these people putting all these millions of dollars and billions of dollars into this particular thing hmm. to lose it? Of course not. Gotcha, gotcha. Of no. course not, because that's okay. how they got over. They know before we know. Mm. Let me ask you a, qu- a okay. technical question. Okay. Because everybody talks about the coins, you know, Bitcoin and and uh, the other one. Was, Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum. Ethereum and all these, yeah. you know, all these coins that have been successful. But there's a difference between the coins and the technology, the blockchain technology. Right. So blockchain, from what I understand, is you are able to do transactions with no third parties. And that's what that's what's right. beautiful about the, the crypto coins because whatever transactions you do, you don't right. need a bank, you don't need anybody to do it for right, you. You right, do it right, directly right, right. and it's registered. Right, right. Mm. That's Ethereum. Ethereum is, is, is like the biggest blockchain. That's right. why I second to Bitcoin because um, Bitcoin sit on that blockchain of Ethereum. Ethereum, most of the coins that come in that people making, they're going to sit on Ethereum. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not all of them, but Ethereum. This would make Shiba Inu special. Shiba Inu have developed their own blockchain. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That sit on top of Ethereum. That's 10,000 times faster than Ethereum and cheaper than Ethereum. So Shiba ain't going nowhere because it's got its own blockchain. it got its own community. It's more than just an altcoin. It ain't just a coin like Do- Dogecoin. Dogecoin, what it does, nothing. Shiba got its own credit card. It's in over 10, 20,000 stores. You can use your Shiba to buy stuff. It's on every exchange mm. almost in the world. So, And this is the first time we it ever ain't hear going it. Well. it got I've never heard it. Have you guys? Well, I heard about no, it when sure. it first started. Heard of it? Okay. And, and because... There's a bunch of coins coming out. You never know. So, yeah, there's a so, lot of so, so, so coins. A lot of them are like, you were kind of like betting. You know, you yeah, right, put, right, it's right, risky. Right. You, risky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you put yeah. a little bit of money and you see yeah. if it yeah. works or not. But, yeah. you know, if they work, yeah. then you have to find out, hey, you know, what, what kind of blockchain are they behind? Or, you know, yeah. what kind of technology do they have in order to be for a long time. And I that's something that comes so out. You my know, in my and question out. to you is, and again, I'm ignorant a hundred percent about all of this. Right. So now the election is coming. Is that going to affect any of the coins going up, down? 
News always of that going up and going down, even in the stock market. Yep. Some people like go by the news. They bet on the news. I have some bad news when they go out. You know, he's buy or sell the news. It's gonna be one or the other. So <laughs> yes, it's gonna affect it. But right now it's on a bull run. It's it's from okay. the it's from the mm -hmm. go. I mean, especially if this president be changed out, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. crypto going to the moon. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I wanted to yeah. know. Okay, you it's answered going to my the question. Moon. It's okay. on the way to the moon. You know, I mean, uh, um, it's no stopping it anyway. Now that Black Rock involved, okay, it's pretty much solid. Now it's really look up to the government mm. to figure out what kind of regulations. Well, they they, they they want tax. You know, they want to tax whatever whatever they can out of yeah. it. Though. Right, right, right. But see, me as a crypto person, I don't, I don't, I don't care for government regulations because people want government regulations. I don't because that's why it's called crypto. Yep. It's no longer crypto when government regulated. Yeah. Because now it ain't it ain't it ain't in crypt no more. It's just a they coin. Know what you got. Yeah. So what the yeah. government really after is the stable coins. Uh, okay. See the stable coin, it don't go up and down. It's worth a dollar. It's just a dollar straight. So what happens is this. When this when when your coins shoot up to the moon, and when it begins to take the dive, you take your profits, right? When you take your profits, you don't turn it into fiat. You put it in a stable coin. So it's still in crypto, so you ain't created a tax oh, action. Oh, I like now that. it makes sense. Yes. So the government is after the stable coin. Ah, uh, because, because the because money is in the stable the, the coin. The fluctuation yes. of the of the market is, right. is based on the right. stable coin. Right. Uh, that makes total cause, sense. Because yeah. when you pull your money out, people are not cashing out to fiat. They cashing out the stable coin. Uh, okay. So stable coin has to be, although it don't go up and down, that's the money that you have, but it's still looked at as you're still in crypto. Mm. So you can't be taxed until you turn it into fiat. Got it. Got it. So these yeah. big time wells that's in there, they hide their money in stable coins. Okay. So the government want to regulate the stable coin. Got it. They want to say, okay, Every transaction over such and such amount has to be reported to the government mm. in a stable coin, which it makes sense because they know the tax there. They can't tax you on your crypto because it's up and down. Right. But right. that stable coin, they know it's right there. So if mm. they can get their hands on the stable coin, then they can get their money. Yeah. Okay. Man, the government must be hating you right now. <laughs> well, the like... government, yeah, well, the government involved because you right. know they. Of they, course, of course. Bitcoin gonna be in your yeah. portfolio on jobs. People gonna be yeah. that's gonna be your um lo your you instead of going into investments or whatever they got, yeah. Yeah. people gonna use Bitcoin instead. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Bitcoin finna do all that because BlackRock okay. is involved. Yeah. It's to the moon. It's it's no stopping it now. Wow. Now it's all about right now. Can we? The government can we regulate it? Got it. Okay. Because what's going to happen? The dollar's going to die out. Mm. In the Federal Reserve at this minute, probably already do. They coming up with their own coin. Mm. Yeah, that's it's going to be I a federal coin that. that's, that's going to come out. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And it's wow. going to run hot. And I'm waiting for it to come out because you know my wife worked for the Federal Reserve. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, I told yeah. as soon as they give you a tip, you know, let us buy mm. first. But they're going <laughs> to come out with a coin. They got okay. no choice. They're going to come out with a coin. They have to compete. Yeah. They have to yeah. compete because yeah. otherwise they're behind. Did you ever behind. retire from working in the Yeah, schools? I retired from school board about nice. four years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, so you're 51 when you retired. Mm, oh, my, no, 55. You're 55 now. I was now. turning 55. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get it right. I was turning. You're 51. You're 55 Wait, wait, now. wait. Yeah, like 51. Yeah, yeah, 51. Yeah. Man. I'm 51 and I still got to work till I'm 90. Man. That's a praise God. <laughs> well, I probably had blessing. to work till I'm 90, but I chose to like let God be my resource. At that time, He called me out. You know, mm -hmm. hey, listen, you know, it's time for you to make me your resources. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, yeah. Let me tap into that because that's interesting. You were saying that when you were young, you always wanted to make money. Yeah. And you were right. and you were interested in whatever game gave you money. So God put that in you from the get go. Yeah. Now, when you were in the world, you were trying to make your money. However, right. Right. And then you, God brings you into this whole trip of like, hey, you know, use music, do all these different things that we've right. talked about. How, how did God become your source, and how does God 
showed you what to do in terms of money. In other words, how right. did you jump off the building and say, God, I trust you? Right, right, right. Okay. It's all through faith. Mm -hmm. You got to change your mm -hmm. faith. You got to change your faith. So it, it's going to be nothing in the natural or nothing you can feel or touch or really indicate or see or plan or anything when it comes to believing God. You just got to you gotta get to that point where you believe him just because he said it. Mm. And to get to that, everybody ain't going to get to that. And it ain't for everybody because everybody ain't going to get there. You know, if you ain't there, you know, stay on your job. But if you are there, you come on out because, you know, it, it, it's, it's, what you, it's, it's where your faith is at that's going to determine it. And to get there, you know, we all know that faith come by hearing, and that word hearing mean hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God. So the more you study, the more you stay with him, the more you go over it and go over it, it become real to you. Mm. It's no feeling. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's just you knowing that and trusting him. Like, I'm going to trust him. It ain't going to be easy. It ain't for everybody. Right. You know, it's like the children of Israel. He brung them out of he brung them out of um, Egypt. As soon as they got out, they was looking back. <laughs> yeah. Like at least we yeah. had something to eat when we was over there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know all that kind of stuff. So it's the same thing. Yeah. If you ain't ready, and then some of them ain't even make it to the promised land. Mm. And that's the thing. We'll find ourselves believing other things before we believe God. Yeah, that's true. You know, we'll find faith and stuff. Like one woman say, um, pray for me that God forgive me. No, I'm not going to do that because he did already. That's right. You just got to believe it. He said in his word. That's it. Mm -hmm. But you have a guy that ain't even in Christ that say he forgive you and you believe him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you don't believe the things of God. Yeah. You know, you have one man say, listen, I ain't going to believe nothing I can't see. Mm -hmm. Right. You got brains, don't you? Yeah, I do. Can you see it? No, that's different. They'll say that's different. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you just mm. said you ain't believe in nothing you can't see. Right. You can't mm. see your own brain, but right. you believe it's in there. You right. know what I'm saying? Because you done seen some other stuff, people done told you, whatever. But right. besides that, it's still on a level you believe in something you can't see. Right. So yeah. it's all in where your faith at. Mm. Yeah. When it comes to how far can you believe God? Yeah. And how did God start talking to you about finances? And did he did he talk to yeah. you about finances? Yeah. And then, you know, how that differ from what you knew financially from the world? Right. Well, what he started talking to me about is just really trusting him. Because a lot of people don't know that their main source is not God. But they're saying it is. Yeah. But they got the mentality like, If you lose your job today, you're in trouble. You understand? The only reason you feel like that, because you don't trust God. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. if God gave you that job, first of all, it ain't going nowhere until he, if you get fired, he fired you. If he gave you, if you believe he gave you that job. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So sometimes we'll say we trust in God and we thank God for the job or whatever, but we so scared. We so fearful of losing this job. Yeah. Man, if I miss a paycheck, God forbid, you know, I figured out, I figured it out. Having a job is not stressful. Having a business is. Yep. Yeah. When yep. well, you just believe in God. A job ain't stressful because you're gonna get a check, man. Right. Whether you do your job you, or not, they yeah, have to you pay get you. A check. That's it. But when yeah. you get out here on God, yeah. it's a whole different story. Yeah. 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 You know, it ain't for That's why people who are successful in businesses, they are, believe it or not, they're strong in faith. Yeah. You know, it's funny you say that because uh, Mike's a plumber. And as long as you know me, I was always an IT guy, video yeah. guy. And about, I want to say almost five years ago, yeah. um, I said, Mike, I'm ready to leave my IT job. And he says, are you sure? And I said, yeah. And uh, long story short, man, um, I told Mike, uh, I want to start doing the plumbing stuff. And I literally just dove in like dove in my wife was like are you crazy like this is insane you're gonna right. go from a white collar job to a blue collar job and something you've never done before i said yeah so i started with a that's straight faith man a little van and 
I thought plumbing, anybody can do plumbing. Man, plumbing <laughs> is very technical. I didn't know there were so many different pipes and so many different ways to do things. And, and everything has, like, it's, it has to be perfectly balanced. Yes. So I'm here going to jobs. And, hey, Mike, uh, I'm standing right here in front of a water heater. Look at the heating element. What is a heating element? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know? And, and just stuff like that. And, and it, yeah. I think it was like a year and a half where I finally just, it took off. Mm -hmm. I want to yeah, say right, yeah. about a year, it, it just took off, and my wife is so happy. Right. Well, what you were saying, <laughs> yeah. what you were saying was ministering me big time because I'm going through that, yes, specific faith that you were talking about. Literally, yeah. For right the now. for the last, <laughs> yeah, for the last four months, I've yeah. been like, you know, no job, uh, no money. I was living here in this studio for, for four like months. four yeah. months. Yeah, I just moved, you know, to a new apartment, and it was. It was exactly what you were saying, man. Like God was saying, "Hey, I'm gonna take you to a to a to a land where you're gonna have milk and honey, and you gotta trust me. And there's a bunch of giants, but you gotta trust me. I'll take care of everybody, but you gotta trust me. And right, it's and it's right. this trust. It's trust, trust, trust. Right. And it was funny because I was freaking out. Like <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm I was yeah. I was literally like. Yeah. No money at one point and no job and no nothing. And no right. help, no and, nothing. And alone and yeah. like crazy. And yeah. I'm like, yo, like, what is this? Yeah. And I've been working with God for like 13 years. Yeah. So it's not like I'm a new believer and uh, no, and it's like, okay, cool. But you've been saying that you trust me, but you really don't. Yeah. Right. And <laughs> You thought that you did that job and you were so like good at that job, but now that you don't have the job. What's up? Or the financial support? Right. No, <laughs> and and you don't have the job. Nothing. Yeah. So so yeah. What are you so good about? Uh -huh. You know, like yeah. And he started confronting the yeah. crap out of me, man. Yeah. Like crazy stuff. Yeah. Because I was, I was like. Oh no, you know, like he's provider, but once he provides, like I, I, I'm the one who does everything. And there's all this pride in you, man, that That's doesn't true. that doesn't allow you to see him how much he really does in your life. Yeah. Right. And then yesterday I was listening about worship, and you know we have this idea of worship through songs, and this person was talking about worship. That is the recognition of who God is in each and every area of our lives. And then right. there's always the, the the word worship often comes with worship to the Lord. And then the definition of that is like worship is to the Lord. So who's the Lord? The Lord is the owner. And what is he what is he owns? He owns everything. So when you are able to see that, that's when you worship. And when you when you see that he owns everything, he owns your job, he owns your money, he owns you, he owns yeah. your life, he owns everything. Right. And when you're able to commune with him in that place, then you don't depend on your job. Right. Then you don't depend on this person or that person. Oh, but this person doesn't like me. Oh, I don't care because he likes me. And right. then you start, and man, this is what I've been learning for in the last four months. Like through pain, through this hardship, this crazy stuff that I've gone through. And the last two weeks, he's been like, all right, you trusted me with this? Like, like you took that little step? Okay, here you go. Like 10 steps forward. Yeah. Okay, you trust me with, like, here you go. Like, here. And he started blessing me. And I'm like, what is this? So it was super interesting what you were saying because I'm living it. And I'm living in, in this scale. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think that that is applicable to everything in your life. It's and true. that's the that's the purpose of him showing you that. So you can actually let him be all of that in every area of your life. Yeah. Hey, Mike, mm -hmm. we've been mm -hmm. hogging mm -hmm. this mic, man. And, and we <laughs> aggressively been uh, <laughs> asking him questions. Do you have any questions, man? Um. Yeah, I think I want to tap back into the crypto because you know, obviously, we get we get so many um, super interesting. Yeah, it is. It is because, um, I guess break break crypto down to like, you know, the 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 the, the tangible sense. Like in other words, um, you know, for 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 people that just can't like grasp it. Okay, okay, I, I can see a dollar. I can feel a dollar. I can touch a dollar. 
I know a dollar I can go buy a you know a, well now it's like a dollar you know two dollars digital a 20, dollar. 20 ounce <laughs> soda yeah like I can take this value and go get <coughs> that so how does that apply to crypto well I want to say first um let me talk about that worship first sure my sure. father say <laughs> um told me true worship is how you live your lifestyle. That's it. People can see it. But with with what you're saying now, I want to tell the people that you know they got um they got ATMs with Bitcoin on it, right? I seen you know that. that right. I seen that. You know. I didn't know um that. yeah, but they do they got they got ATMs with Bitcoin where you can actually, you know, with your Bitcoin. Convert to convert cash. convert to the fiat. Yeah. Got yeah. It. And so, then some and then some some people just will take Bitcoin. If you, uh, um, you got people starting to have you pay in Bitcoin. Huh. Yeah. What's they don't fiat? want. Fiat they don't want the cash? money no more. What's fiat is the dollar. Fiat. Fiat. That's fiat. what the that's what the dollar is called. Oh, I see. Fiat is a dollar. So it's they the have dollar. to convert the into Bitcoin the, into, into fiat, an actual fiat, dollar. Into fiat. So yeah. you can go to an ATM now and pull out cash. Yeah, for whatever that Bitcoin is worth. Oh, man. But what people are doing now. Like I, um, I'm seeing now some of these companies that you get subscriptions with, they want you to pay with Bitcoin. Yeah, because they want they want part of the game. They, they yeah. gonna charge you like if it's sixteen dollars, they want sixteen dollars of Bitcoin, because that sixteen dollars one day might be worth yeah. twenty thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Yeah, it ain't gonna just stay at sixteen dollars. They're, they're so going now to, these people are like collecting Bitcoin. They're going in the know, fluctuation. And if you don't have the Bitcoin, they show you how you do it. You go to um. What is that? Um, cash app. Okay. And then mm-hmm. you take some of your money out of your cash app and buy Bitcoin there. Then you come back with your cash app thing and you pay wow. with Bitcoin. That's People crazy. are beginning to take Bitcoin now. They're not taking the dollar no more. Wow. Okay. Now, let's look at the dollar. The dollar is just a piece of paper, <laughs> yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That if you read it, it's called a promissory note. Yes. That means, you know... I will pay you right. someday. So, again, we can get so caught up into what we're seeing is the only thing that's real to us because we our minds have, have, have trained us to believe only what we see. Yep. Yes. So we'll miss out on what we cannot see. Hmm. So you have a an organization, I believe, that... That that that's putting out things that really you can't see and you think it ain't tangible, but they get rich off it. And by the time you realize that it's something, you can't even get in it. You can't yep. even afford it. Got so it. you get left behind. And then you gotta understand, um, rich people, you got if you follow the money, mm-hmm. they're not putting their money into something like they stupid or something like that. Right, right, right. Yep. <laughs> they're not and, risking. And I'm, it. and I'm gonna show you. Yeah. When you if you go on a Bitcoin right now today, you go on a um, crypto.com, right? You'll see the market value for a Bitcoin might, I think, maybe like close to two trillion mm-hmm. or something like that, a trillion and some, trillion nine. That's the market cap, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Then you look at the value for the day, three hundred billion. Oh. Hmm. Why is people putting three hundred billion dollars, like three three billion, yeah, like three billion dollars, thirty billion dollars, and all that for today? That's today's value, right? So, who yeah. that's stupid? Mm. That to, got that kind of risk, money. To you risk better follow money. the money, yeah. right, right? Right? If you got people, that's rich people because mm, yeah, they know yeah. the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The poor people, we scared of it. We, oh, I'm not gonna fool with that because right. that's what they want you to do. Yeah, they want to scare you out of it, shake you out of it, and then you mm. stay away from it. Yeah. Then when you get on it, they, they, it dives. They pull their money out so you could take a loss. Mm. I found out rich people, mm. Mm. they buy when it's low, right, and sell when it's high. Mm-hmm. Mm. Poor people buy when it's high. And sell when it's low. Because wow. <laughs> they're scared. Because they get scared. Yeah. <laughs> Poor people buy the hype. When you see that crypto running up, do not buy. Because mm. it's going to take a dive. Okay. That's the but game. when you see it's diving and it's low, that's when you buy. But poor people won't buy because they're like, oh, that junk ain't working. It's buying. Right. Right. So they'll buy when it's high. 
And then mm. they'll lose all this money when it's low and take a loss and pull it out because they're afraid to lose all of it. As wow. soon as they do that, the rich people come and buy their position. Mm, wow. And it goes back up. <laughs> so where is it mm. now? And it is that is this? <laughs> it's is at it? like 63000 But, you know, it was a high as 74. 74 but yeah, don't let that fool yeah. you. That's just a position now, 63. Mm -hmm. Listen, when Bitcoin was like 15000 because yeah. it went down by 16000 17000 You know, people, man, they ain't buying that. That's too expensive. But wow, if you had bought it at 17 and it hit 70. Yeah, 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 yeah. It don't right. sound too crazy. Let me ask right. you a question in regards to that. Like, what is the mining Bitcoin? Can you explain that to me? I don't know all about crypto. Let me tell you something. I only know the basics about crypto because I found out with crypto, you don't have to know all of it. Yeah, okay. to make money. Okay. Yeah, of course. To be smart with crypto, you only need to know two numbers you need to pay attention to. The market for the day. And the market cap. Okay. Mm. So when you're watching it, for instance, if you're watching it and it's going up, and the market cap be like twenty billion, let's say two billion dollars, the market cap, right? Yeah. And you're looking over here at the value of the day, it's three billion. That's when a dive. That's a balloon. Mm. The value of the day cannot be bigger than the market cap. It cannot. That can't sustain. Got it. Okay. That's a dive. You know what I'm saying? You got to mm -hmm. know that's a dive. Yep. Mm. So you got to be able to read them two numbers. So when you see that, all you got to do is go to the market. You see the market starting to turn red from Bitcoin on down. That whole thing starts turning red. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a dive. But mm. people don't know that. It's right. the simple things they don't teach you. Right. Then you know how to get out and get in. Yeah. So You know, mm -hmm. it's just two numbers you need to read. So you can't be successful in something unless you kind of mess up and lose a little money in the beginning. Did you, did you lose? Right, right. Now, to be successful in it, to me, you got to be an investor. Right. You can't be a day trader. Mm. You can't be a guy that's in yeah. and out of day trading yeah. and all that. You yeah. know, I played a little bit with coins just to be playing around with them. But day trading and the investor is two different things. Yeah. The investor, you're in for the long haul. So you don't care about the up and down because you're in it for 10 years. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. You what it's going to look like in 10 years. Okay, let's think about it. People who got into Bitcoin... Um, five years in that said, you know what? I'm leaving it in for the next five years. So let's say they paid maybe like $500 for the Bitcoin, right? Five years later, they see it at 73000 They ain't played a seesaw. I see. Mm -hmm. So now they sitting at 70, 73, 63, 60, because they, they got long-term investment. Got it. So you take an individual now that see Bitcoin and say, you know what? I'm going to go spend 73000 right? I'm going to put a million dollars in Bitcoin, but it's for my kids 20 years from now. Got it. Okay. Mm. All right? Okay. 20 years yeah. from now, you may see Bitcoin at $10 million per coin. Mm. And you there, don't play the up and down. And there is only a certain amount of coins. And, and Bitcoin. And that's, and that's what oh, makes it valuable. They about to run out. When they that's run out, it it's valuable. to the moon. Yeah. Mm. Bitcoin, I'm predicting, y'all, don't hold me to it, she hit 110,000 for the year per really? coin really? for one. Wow. Wow. You think it's going to go that? Wow. Well, just think about it. A month ago, it was in its 30s. Mm -hmm. It was. I wouldn't think it was going to reach 70. That's I was crazy. like, that thing ain't going to reach 70. I thought it was going to take the whole year Doubled. to reach 70. Yeah. And it hit 70. It doubled my money. In so, it. yeah. So, <laughs> 100, it, it's that, that ain't nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After the Bitcoin havoc, they having that, um, April 23rd, I think that's when they cut the supply down again. The miners, they cut it. Mm. They cut the supply down and happened. Man, listen. Mm. <laughs> that's happening April 23rd. So you know. Mm. They're the going to cut the... the they do it every year. four years. Oh, oh, wow. It's called a Bitcoin habit. They they cut the supply in half. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm, like kicks. Forgot. And guess what? The coins just... Whoo, mm. That's yeah. so cool. So that's when it happened in April, so it's going to yeah. be a huge bull run on that one. Yeah. So wow. I'm going to stay with food stamps and Medicaid, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and I say yeah. in crypto, man, just yeah, yeah. just invest the money in it that you can that you can stand to lose. Got it. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense, of course. Yeah, yeah don't yeah. put your rent in there. Don't put your no. life in there. Put what you can yeah. stand to lose right. and leave it. Make an investment. Don't yeah. watch it every day. It'll drive you crazy. Yeah, yeah. Up and down. Then I have lost money in it before, you know, and I lost like one time, like, I want to say 84000 
Sheesh, that's a but lie. it was profit. It wasn't like oh, it was money that you had made and then you reinvested. Right, right, reinvested, yeah. right. Yeah. It was money yeah. that it was money that I made in profit from my mm-hmm. investment. Okay, you know. But eighty thousand wow. is eighty thousand, man. Mm-hmm. That hurt. Yeah, it is. It is. But did it fluctuate and it eventually went back up? Well, or? what it, what what happened was I didn't understand at the time what a broken wedge looked like. I don't know what that is. I know a lot of people don't. <laughs> right, right. It's a broken wedge. But now I I I, I know a broken wedge when mm-hmm. I see it on the chart. I know what it looked like. So when I see a broken wedge, I know, man, take profits. It ain't going back up. It's going to fake up, but it's going to eventually in time, mm-hmm. it's going to run back to where it started from. Gotcha. You mm-hmm. just got to understand what a broken wedge looked like. Huh. So now we got to Google broken wedge now. <laughs> yeah. So you figure those well, things he's, out. He's been dropping some, some, yeah, some, some knowledge. But don't get, me, don't get me wrong. I right. don't know, like, these gurus. Yeah. No, no, but, like, you they know. They know everything about the crypto. Yeah. They'll tell you the whole thing, right. but they won't tell you the important thing. Of course. Because you don't course. need all. All you need is the basics. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. You get oh, the basics. Yeah. But you, you need to get in the game in order to make right. some money. You don't need right. to get in the game to know right. how it works. Right. You, you, right. Don't, you, don't, you don't drive a car and know about mechanics. You just yeah. know how to drive. Right. And yeah. that's right. what you're saying. Right, 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 right. So yeah. you did something right. You're a billionaire. So you did something right. Listen, so. that's, yeah, I'm going to let you say that. I'm, you know, I, I walk by faith. Hey, you know, hey, I, you're, you're, that, you're, I believe and receive with you right now. Thank you. And the chain says it. The chain says it right there. Oh, yeah. And every time you speak it, okay, I receive it. I receive it. You're a billionaire. You know, and, and back to you with the tangible yeah. things. Just think about it. Let's yeah, look at yeah. gold. Yes. Like people say, oh, you should have gold. I think gold is like... Ten thousand dollars a pound, mm. something like that. Ten thousand a pound, one bitcoin seventy thousand. Hey, come on, man. Oh. Yeah. I'm not gonna worry about. It. I can't touch it because yeah, I can cash it out anytime I want to. Right. Like you go yeah. cash it out right now. That's up to you. It ain't like it's. It's almost like keeping your money in the bank. You ain't really seeing. You swiping. Like your money is not in the bank. I hope you know that, right? Well, well the same it's, thing. it's not in the bank. The right. same thing you were saying yeah. before. Yes, it's not in the bank. Like right. the, the the bills mm. are a promise. It's it, a promise, it, you know, it, it, that it I a, will pay you mm. with this saying. But you, know? you yeah. right. but you know what it was? Yeah, it was like got, they had the, the 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 gold in the bank, and they would give you the paper for the worth of the yeah, gold. Yeah, yeah, but, but that know. doesn't exist anymore. No, that don't exist. No. That yeah. doesn't exist anymore yeah. from years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. So everything is digital today. Yeah. And then we we think, oh. I have to put this paper in the bank account to have digital. And what they're doing is, no, no, we right. have digital, and then we bring it into the yeah. real world, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a, a question. Yeah, yeah, one, one question in regards to that, because, and it's nothing, you know, it's nothing personal against you, but I'm just trying to make an example. You were saying, well, I don't want them to know. I don't want them to know. So how do we balance as believers when we're to render under Caesar what's Caesar's? So okay. in other words, example of, you know, okay, of course, I don't want the government to know because I don't want to pay some taxes on this. But, you know, I want to make sure I'm making some profit. I want to try to hide this. So how do we balance that in that? Okay, that's a good question. Yeah. I'm glad you brought that out. Me personally, I don't, I'm not trying to hide it from the government to not pay taxes. Because when I cash mine out, I pay my taxes. Got it. That ain't my reason so I don't have to pay taxes because... I'm smart enough to know that eventually these exchanges are going to have to turn over their paperwork to the government at some point. And, and they're keeping scores of what you've taken out already. Okay, now a lot of out. people going to jail in the end for yes. crypto, yeah. oh, for yeah, tax invasion. Yeah. I, I didn't know that. That's, that's, they are. The, big they are. Scheme. They are. that's they are. the big scheme of so it, So I'm not so. saying what? I'm doing this to not pay taxes. Right. Um, Got it. I'm doing mine more for you can't Google me. You don't know what I'm worth right. and all Got that it. type of stuff. Got it. Like you but can't figure me yeah, out. Yeah, you can't yeah. figure me yeah. out. You can't yeah. figure yeah. me out. You know, you go you go you go Google Sheba billionaire. You're gonna get just what you're looking for. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get what you're looking for. Yeah, but yeah. it it is yeah. for that reason. Got not it. to not pay taxes. Smart Got people it. who in that is not they not hiding. The rich people are not hiding so they don't pay taxes. Because mm-hmm. they know. You go to Crypto.com, when y'all go into my portfolio, they show how much I made, how much I spent, how much eventually the government going to regulate it, and these people going to turn that over to mm-hmm. them. 
Mm-hmm. So you you're not getting away with taxes. You you don't gotcha. you don't you I'm not promoting crypto to not pay taxes. Well, that's the blockchain. No, the blockchain no. works both ways. It 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 helps you and me to do a transaction, but it's there forever so for anybody. Right, to right, see right, it. right. When it yeah. when it comes down to it, it's a foolish thing not to pay taxes on your crypto. Yep. It's right. a, it's a foolish thing not to do that. Yeah, I you would know, say that's the way it was always proposed to me in the popularity of it was the. You know the old well, the government that doesn't know because now they're they're not regulating it and this is our transaction private right. transaction right you know yeah. so it was always marketed or you know free given money. to that way it was yeah. like free money right that that, that right. was in the beginning yeah. that was in the beginning yeah, yeah. that's why okay. a lot of us didn't get in it we thought it was just to hide your money yeah. they didn't yeah. even like they didn't even laundry. they didn't yeah. even explain to me mm. that it can grow mm. I didn't read I didn't even mm. know it can grow I thought it was just Oh, you can hide your money in there. Government won't know what you got. People won't know mm. what your money. But they never explained to me that this thing could be $73,000 for one. Laid it on. I would have bought $100 worth right. for a dollar. Right, right, right. You right. do 100 times mm-hmm. 73000 <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, I wouldn't have cared <laughs> yeah. about, oh, you know, and then I was concerned about who owned it. Y'all can't call nobody and all that. These people could run yep. off with your money. Yeah. You was on that. Yeah. When really, we lose $100 like it ain't nothing. If I'd have just mm-hmm. said, let me just get a hundred of these things and forgot about it. You know what I'm oh, saying? Right. So yeah. my purpose oh, yeah. is not to pay taxes because they keep in records. Got it. Those records gonna be turned over eventually. Yeah. Got it. Gotcha. Got okay. It. So that's awesome. why they use the stable coins. That's why these rich people are not changing into the fiat. They change it in the stable coin first. Mm, okay. So when that day comes. They know they already they already did it with the right, government. Right, right, right. Yeah. Cause yeah. you could take your crypto right now and and report your losses. Really? Mm. Yeah. yeah. I didn't mm. know that. Yeah. Okay. Man, you, can, that's... you could you could you could you could report your losses. Hmm. Oh. That's why you see crypto okay. kind of take a dive in November. I mean in December, <laughs> late tax, December, early purposes. January for tax purposes. Uh, the rich they like they mm-hmm. they, they, they report their losses. Wow. You can report your loss. Yeah. I lost in this. Yeah. They could see it. You know, you pull that. You, uh-huh. you mm. they got a thing on um the income tax. What kind of crypto you got? They action that now already. Oh wow! Yeah, that's on now. Wow. Yo, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I knew wow. that we had to pay taxes because if not, then Trump will have a crypto. I'm just kidding. Man. That's a bad joke. But um, <laughs> Trump probably got crypto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, probably He's gonna come out with his own crypto. <laughs> probably yeah. 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 Trump probably got bought. Yeah, <laughs> more crypto than you can imagine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, but, um, what about is? Now I I do I did invest and I forgot the name of the coin so I I'm, I'm just letting you know I have invested but um, is that a kind of gambling or no is is crypto like gambling is it gambling see let me tell you something gambling is a word that needs to be really uh, it's too broad mm. it's too broad to even hold its own because when you go to scripture it talks about casting lots right mm-hmm. to 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 with 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 um spiritual people, mm-hmm. save folks, right. even the king. Say the king like he was like on the god. He gave one man one talent, another man this talent, this and that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But he wanted a prophet when he come back. Yeah, right? you know what I'm saying. He wanted a yeah. prophet. So the Bible talks about casting lots. Do we call that gambling? Mm-hmm. Because this was believers doing this, right? And was allowed to do it. I think. Gambling is so edgy on tradition mm-hmm. or what they taught us to be wrong. It's almost like shacking up. Yeah. yeah. You know, where you can find that nowhere in the Bible. So the traditional quotes, you know, I don't believe gambling is gambling anyway until you, this gambling to me, mm-hmm. you go take your rent money and you go put it on the lottery. Okay. Mm-hmm. You gambling. Yeah. But if you go take ten dollars out of your thousands of dollars and put it on the lottery, you ain't gambling. Got it. Okay. You ain't gambling. You casting well, a lot. You well, ain't gambling. gambling. Because gambling right there would be the risk. The right. risk that you assume to gain to gain something. Yeah. Right. You know, because if the risk is minimum, then you you're not really like suffering yeah. if you lose the money. But if you risk everything, yeah. You know So gambling and then with that you have to, it's broad too, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, of when 
when one can judge. You know, I think gambling becomes a true problem when it becomes an addiction. I think uh, like look, anything else, you know, yeah, and it, it's, when it becomes an addiction, when mm-hmm. these people, you 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 know, when people are gamblers, and when people not, because right. you would have to say the stock market is gambling, right, right, in some form, yeah. it is, in yeah. some form, it is. Yeah. It, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So right. when you start saying in some form, then yeah. it start going down the line. Mm-hmm. Okay, driving your car become risky and gambling. It just goes so far. Right, Taking a right. plane, you gambling. Yep. You, you understand? In yeah. some form. Sure. Yeah. But let yeah. me let me tap into that because I like I like that topic, man. I think the the gambling part of it is trusting, is trusting, is putting your trust that in that move you're gonna get all of this thing ahead. That trust when you're saying, man, I have this opportunity to do X, Y, and Z, and I'm gonna. I'm going to multiply it like this. That is what your heart starts craving. Your right. heart starts craving. So if you have that chance, uh, let's put it in a, in a casino. You know, you put a coin and then you do the machine. And then all of a sudden it throws you 10 coins. You go, oh, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, wait a second. So if I put this 10, can I get 100? And then you start feeding that monster. Yeah. Let's say that you do it three times and it gives you more. Right. Because of that, you're going to be like, oh, this is it. Let me just go all in. And that's that's the whole gambling game. Because gambling as what you are saying, for me, sounds like, man, there's a bunch of things that you don't control. You don't control it. Right. But I'm going to see what happens. That is very different than... Hey, I have this option, and if it works, I'm gonna go all in on it. Right. And it's it's this point of trust in your heart that you are gonna make things better than if you trust God in it. Right, right. And well, and it's and it's an immediate yeah. response. Yeah. It's immediate. It is it's, it's not like, oh, I have to wait. No, no, no. With gambling, it's like I do it right here, right now, and I'm in control of it. And I think that's that's what's sketchy of it. Okay. Right, right. I want to, I just, you know, I just want to, you know, like if anybody can come up with anything that you're in control of. But I'm going to say this right here. You know, even with your job, you know, you trust your job, but your job can turn a circle on you too. Yeah. And don't cut your check. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or anything of that nature. But I want to say this. Anything that you don't put God in is gambling. Yep. You know? Right. Period. Yep. Period. If God ain't in it, then you know you ain't led by God, or that ain't your, that ain't His direction. And who is one to say what God leads another man into doing? See, that's where a lot of judgment come in at. Yeah. You know, yeah. because you don't know what God telling this man to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but we can only assume because of what we feel or what we know, correct, or what we think is wrong or what mm. we or how you feel. Yeah. But you never know because it's back to what I was saying earlier. I got mm. to a point. God showed me I don't have to prove to anyone who I am yeah. Yeah. and be what they want me to be mm. anymore because I know who I am in yeah. Him. Amen. You know, and so all of my ways are led by Him. Outside of him is gambling. Yeah. Even if you decide, mm. oh, I'm going to go to this party this weekend without checking with God. You're gambling. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. He, to me, I feel like when you don't put God in it, it's risky. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. risky. Amen. I agree it's with risky. that. So mm. I know we're trying to get into a little okay. basketball mm. today, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to, you know, right. old people ball. But anyways, <laughs> I, want, I wanted to ask you, so now you're doing a, a, a live show with Miss McIntyre. At least that's what she told me. Are you guys? No, it's not a live show. Oh, it's not I, a live what show? What I do, sometimes okay. I do a podcast okay. where okay. I utilize, like, 
the whole floor in my office building and have people to come in while we do the podcast. Oh. Like oh, that. So you have a live audience while a live you're filming audience. the yeah. while we yeah. pre-recording. That's, you know, we have like yeah. a live audience in there that can ask questions or something like okay, that. Okay, that's pretty cool. That, yeah, like because that. Um, they kind of asked us to do this in a, at a church. Uh-huh. So that's probably the right. same Yeah, that's kind of like that. Yeah, it's okay, like that. Okay, that's awesome. pretty cool. We're just awesome. having a party. Yeah, there's a guy that's awesome, called Miles Golden or something like that. He, he does that. Yeah, you got some people doing it And then it he, explain, he explained that the reason why he does it is because you have that that feedback from the people. And then, right. yeah, the interaction is with people. So he's not talking to the camera. He's talking to the people, and they just record him. Uh, so it's right, it's right, right, it's right. Little, little, little talk show, little talk yeah. show. Type yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah. Like so show. there you go. Yeah. You're in the yeah. future again, bro. Right. So everything you do, <laughs> yeah. you're always in the future. Yeah. You know? And I want to say about it's Ethereum. Kind of, yeah. Ethereum. Why Ethereum is so important? Yeah. Ethereum is not just a blockchain like the bank for crypto, where you buy your, when you buy crypto, you got to buy Ethereum. You know, and Ethereum also going to change the way of how we buy houses and homes and everything. You see how that blockchain in the middle of how you buy? It's going to be in the middle of how you buy a house. You ain't going to need no mortgage brokers no more. Mm. You ain't going to need no bank no Direct. more. The Ethereum going to yeah. be straight there. Yeah. You fill out the papers and all that. Boom. You certified. Boom. You got a house. That's what this moving into. Wow. Mm. We behind thinking that it's going to, you know, people getting their real estate license and getting it and all that. There's going to be no need for that. Wow. That's that's the power of crypto. Yeah. It ain't just exchanging hand with money. Mm. These different coins, they mean something. They represent something. Mm. They like banks. They're gonna replace banks. That's and that crazy. and that's why you know? banks were wow. so afraid of them in the mm. beginning. Right. Because they couldn't control them. They yeah. they had their own control with their own technology. Right. Yeah. They're gonna so, replace the banks. So my last question would be before we uh, close it, when do you think possibly just guess? When the dollar is no longer gonna exist, I I don't I I can't say, you know when that's gonna happen, but I can say it's gonna happen. It's like everything else. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, we have other currencies mm-hmm. that don't exist right now. Right. I mean, so what make the dollar so special? Right. Mm-hmm. Right. That it'll last forever. Yeah. Right. Roman coin. Yeah, we don't have it all. Yeah. yeah we'll have something. You know, we yeah. won't live that long, but we'll have something after crypto. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. just a change, or we got to get with the change. Got it. Things okay. are changing. You know, we just got to get with the change. I'm yeah. here uh, next month, April 22nd, 30 days from today. They're gonna sacrifice that uh the that red heifer. Oh. They yes. Are. That's the plan. So I'm just seeing everything moving fast. The king of glory. Of course, we're closer now than when we were 20 years ago. You know, I'm just seeing everything moving fast, man. It's exponentially growing, uh, though. It's crazy. But this is this was awesome, man. Yeah, thank you. It's kind of like a a fresh breath, man. It was very different than what we've done. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, It's super cool. cool. Definitely going to have to bring them yeah, back Yeah, we got to invite uh, you again so we yeah, can, right. you know, go deeper into all the stuff that we didn't we didn't get to touch. Yeah, okay. No problem, man. William Payte used to be Galilee 316 and now is Shiba <laughs> Billionaire Testimony. Crypto. Testimony. <laughs>